Hi, this is Stoney with MetaGeek. Uh, I'm here to talk about what MetaGeek's products are and what we can bring to it. MetaGeek is a company that's been around since 2005. We're based out of, based out of Boise, Idaho. Uh, we manufacture all of our products here in the U.S., U.S.-based products. Um, and the products that we make are really around Wi-Fi tools and the Wi-Fi spectrum. So you're looking at 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. We provide both software and hardware. The hardware is a USB spectrum analyzer that allows you to collect the raw RF uh, for your systems. And then we also have applications like Channelizer, which is, uh, takes that RF data and, and then processes it. What that allows you to do is it's really intended to help you with designing a network, maintaining the network, and also, also troubleshooting that same network. Uh, too often people go in thinking that they can just passively design a network without actually looking at what the RF signature would be. And when they do that, they're missing out on potential interferers, they're missing out on potential in, uh, utilization. So this product really fits well with those that are looking to try to design a network or putting a network in place, managing one that's already there. So if you're someone who's a system integrator, really good for you to be able to, you know, to go in there and um, know what gear you need to put and be confident that you're not gonna have to go back out later. If you're someone who's uh, designing networks, it's going to help you get that signature. And if you're someone who's troubleshooting networks, it's also going to give you that power to be able to see you know, the unknown. We also have another product that takes on the level two or the data layer of Wi-Fi, and that's our IPA application. And that particular application is one that takes in the data packets, and you don't have to be connected to the network. It also takes any of them that are around the surrounding channels. And that packet data is really going to give you that second step. It's going to tell you what throughput's happening, where you're looking at with the roaming cap you know, issues, potentially how other clients are behaving, how your network's behaving with others. A lot of people forget. They look at the spectrum and they're just like, okay, spectrum is all the answer. But really, you can have clean spectrum, no interference, and have a really poor throughput due to how the packets are being held or what clients you're allowing on your network. Combining those two together are gonna give you a really strong network going to be a positive experience when you design it, a positive experience when you're maintaining it, and ultimately get to your resolution when you're troubleshooting much quicker. This is a, our Weiss by DBX. This is a dual band USB spectrum analyzer. It takes in the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz uh, spectrum, raw data, and this data is taken up by our channelizer application, the software you see in the background there. The software then processes that and places each one of the points that the spectrum analyzer reads um, onto a density graph. And you'll see that the application is broken up into a couple different ways. One, we have a waterfall view, which is much like a DVR or your or digital video recorder. And this is where you're able to go back in time to really analyze what was happening at a specific time when you're doing your work. Then we have our, one of our best views is our density view or uh, color by utilization. This is a very intuitive uh, visualization that helps you see what's going on in the software. You have red, obviously looks, uh, you know, indicates bad or something's wrong. Yellow is somewhere to be cautious or a little bit nervous about. And then green is something that's performing at a level that you expect with not a lot of issues. And then blue, blue is something to be aware of, but it's not really anything you should be too concerned about. And as those colors brighten up, this is something that gives you uh, even more uh, clarity on something that's happening more frequently. It's something that distinguishes our product from a lot of the other ones. Most of our competitors or other products that are doing this, just squiggly lines, where we actually give you something that gives you a 3D view, also gives you some warnings. The software then also comes down and it has the ability to look at what's happening from a Wi-Fi perspective. So we're giving you the Wi-Fi network data, similar to what you find from the, wi the wireless NIC, which we're pulling out. Uh, able to show you what throughputs are, data rates, and you're also able to look at what the signal strength is, how many uh, SSIDs are associated with it. If you need to troubleshoot a specific radio within an AP, you're able to get down to that uh, level by being able to sort by radio. Very beneficial when you're doing your troubleshooting or being able to understand what's going on in the environment that you've designed or one that you're about to design. Uh, we also have capabilities like Device Finder. This uses our directional antenna. The directional antenna uh, gives you the ability to do a hot and cold game with whatever interference you're looking for. Plug it into your Y-Spy, then trace down where your interferer is so you can physically locate it and then determine if you can remove it from the environment or if it's something that you should just avoid. Our Y-Spy family does have three versions. The DBX, 
That does both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. The uh, Y-Spy 2.4X, that's a 2.4 gigahertz only application. And then we also have the Y-Spy Mini, which is an internal Y-Spy, or internal antenna Y-Spy that does the 2.4 gigahertz as well. So these are your three options that you have. If you think you're ever gonna be putting in a five gigahertz network or you need to be monitoring it, just go for the DBX. Get all you need right off the bat uh, and use the software that way.